Hello boys and girls, it's been less than 24 hours and we've already had an official first Skylander 5 update and this time it's from Activision, the true people. So we're going to see what they have in store for us with pictures and everything. Here we go. So what you're about to see is a bunch of um pictures I have screenshotted. All shout out to Skyner Boy and Girl. Um, some of them have kind of have the YouTube line because I was just trying to get them done because I kind of want to um get a video out because these really get me excited to talk about even if I start rambling and start stuttering but it just really gets me excited. So my computer um I'm thinking about since I can't talk about all these and show them at once because my editing software is um. Not like some of your guys's, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post, show you all these pictures, um, give you a brief overview of some of the stuff, and then every other day or every day I might post like one or two videos um, of new information and talking about the characters and stuff, because we got a lot of pictures to talk about. So yeah, there's going to be a marathon, but yeah, I'm going to start talking about the pictures, but enhance the slideshow in 5, 4, 3... Lexi is holding the car. Now, like, as it said, which I, I was kind of confused about, and I guess it's actually confirmed now, is that it said that it comes with Spitfire, not Hot Streak. I kept saying Hot Streak, but the actual um, supercharger is Spitfire. It comes with the individual vehicle. I was confused if it comes together or not, but it indeed comes with a new vehicle, like, separate. I don't know if the wheels move, but that would be pretty cool. It's kind of like a Hot Wheel. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That's an one first Next picture I want to talk about. about, which I'm not going to go too into detail because I want to um, save it for another video. But the portal of power, which you see, it kind of has fire on the side. And it has like um, a motor engine on top of it. And it's like a giant black pavement, like where cars race. So I think that's a really cool. And also traps do work. So that's really awesome. So you don't have to waste all your money on traps and never be able to use them again. So in the starter pack, we do get a stealth elf with a new grass base. And then Spitfire comes with a um, special engine base. So I guess their bases are like that now. And then it comes with the vehicle. And I think it looks really awesome. So yeah, and it's available on all consoles the same, including your tablet again. So yeah, that's not pretty. seen yet, but is confirmed. It's a Skylander called Dive Bomber. And also in the picture, we see like a special symbol on top, which I'm going to go over that maybe in another video. But I think it's confirmed that it's 20 new vehicles, which means if there's 10 elements, we're going to get two vehicles for each element, plus two um, superchargers. But looking at Dive Bomber, he is definitely a water type, and he kind of looks like a um, football player, but with like a um, submarine mask on it, and he has a submarine ride, so I want to talk about is actually um, how the car changes. So first, it's like the average um, car, but if you put like a, a Skyliner with that element on there, it, I'm, I'm assuming you can put different Skylanders with different vehicles, but if you put the same Skylander on, on the same element, then actually you get to upgrade your car, and it like gives you like a special power and changes it a lot, as we see when Spitfire um, changes up the vehicle. So yeah, so that's actually about is the one where Mike is putting in the Chaos Trap, the ultimate Chaos Trap. Well, in the video, Skylander Dad says that the um, that the traps actually give of the a special element boost. So I don't know if you can play with the characters individually, or is it just to give you a boost, just like how the um, adventure, old adventure pack items 
um, and Skylanders Trap Team just gave you a boost instead of a level. So yeah, I'm excited to see how that turns out. I'm kind of hoping that we can actually play as the villains and not just have them for um, elemental power. I'm but either way, is totally the cool. artwork for Series Four Super Shot, Shot Stealth Elf. So now I guess she is actually not in her vehicle. She might have a um, wow power or something like that, final upgrade to ride it, but it looks like she's holding like kind of a machine gun and like it kind of dashes back and forth, but she definitely does look like a cool dirt bike rider, so I'm glad that she's in the starter pack, and this is actually her third starter pack she's been in, so she's definitely game, game picture, which we only get one picture of, which is Super Shot Stealth of, which I was talking about how she's like shooting it, and now she's not actually in it. Well, it looks like from the picture that they're actually going back to like the old logo, how it shows their face and it has that bar and it just um, goes to 15. So it looks like the max might be 25 this time because it's at 15 and it's not doesn't say max. So yeah, I like how the graphics are really improved and I like the capabilities and how um, they're going back to like the original. But in this picture, we see the the bird. Um, we see Spitfire and we see Super Shot Stealth Elf. And actually, I was um, thought the game was going to come out on September 20th, but at 25th, sorry, it, and it does come out on the 20th, but it comes out on the 20th, and um, what's really cool is since we kind of got, last year it was in April, and in previous years, um, it's usually been in April about when they um, announce it, and they release it in October, but this time it's in September, so that means they've been working on this game for quite a long time, and also... That since I think because we got a late teacher, they're um, releasing it early. So that means I can I get this 10 days after my birthday. So I'm super excited for this year's edition. Great job. We now know of is Stormblade, which is the bird one. And he looks awesome. He kind of looks like an acrobatic, like Halucha, which I was re referencing yesterday from Pokemon. But yeah, he looks really awesome. And I cannot wait. And his artwork looks cool because he's like that. And like his wings are in the background. So I can not screenshot a picture I took. was the actual game with the logo on the front. Still no light and dark, but it's really cool now because it has like the um, pipe sticking out. And it also has the wheel, kind of like um, a car logo, like you know the rims inside the tire. So yeah, I'm super excited for this year's installment. I think they did a great job in Scouter Blind Girl. Great skit for trying to get it um, hyped up for this year. It, it looks amazing, and um, like I'm just really excited for it. Like I got the chills the first time I watched that video. Like I watched it several times before I did this video. So yeah, I like to thank everyone for watching. And within like it hasn't been 24 hours. I think it was like five hours. The video had gotten 115 views and six likes so that's really awesome guys i want to thank you guys a lot and we're at 94 subscribers we're so close to 100 so if you could shout me out to your friends or anybody that would be really nice so yeah i just want to thank you guys so much because today has just been an awesome day and this summer is going to be amazing so yeah i'd like to see you guys next time P please keep in tune because i'm going to keep posting videos i'm going to post one tomorrow morning after swim so yeah um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Like to point out, it is, um, Wednesday and I have my hump day shirt on, so yeah. Woot woot.